There is just one thing that Rebecca and Graham want more than anything else, to get married. Now they're getting 10,000 euro to make it happen. The only catch is, they've agreed in the presence of a lawyer that Rebecca will have no hand in her own wedding. Graham will arrange the whole thing. You're gonna hand over your phones. I'm not even thinking about weddings at the moment, sorry. Does he know a good dress when he sees one? It's not like picking out tires for a car or something like. Time for him to grow up now. Steady. <laughs> <laughs> God, he might die that day. Will his head be spinning? It's pressure, like, you know. And will she even make it to her own wedding? I'm panicking now, yeah. I give them my blessing. Just remember one thing. Don't tell the bride. Nurse Rebecca Moorhead and mechanic Graham O'Neill live in Rathfarnham, County Dublin. They've been together for three years, and it all started when Graham broke one of the golden rules don't mess with your best friend's sister. I'm friends with her two brothers, have been for years, and uh, Rebecca took a shine into me. Did you miss me out when you were walking the dog by yourself, will you? Yeah. You will. Come on. We were all together one night, and next thing we know, Rebecca jumped on top of Graham. I was very shocked. It's kind of like. Bye. Better the fella you know than the fella you don't. The fella he knew turned out to be a fast mover. And with the family still in shock, their romance was in the fast lane from the start. We went on our first date then to Mondello. Yeah. There's something manly about a man in a car or a man on a bike. Like, there is. For any woman, any woman would tell you that, Graham. She may have fallen for a mechanic, but when it came to popping the question, she was definitely in the driving seat. She caught me out the leap year job. I just popped the question and he said yes and I started bawling and he started bawling and went from there really. It's a great thing to, to be done because I would have would have taken me a long time to get the courage up to do that. That's my engagement present and the date on it and everything. And um that was it. I couldn't say no in front of everybody. <laughs> There's just one problem when the girl proposes to the guy. I never got an engagement ring. No. Still to this day, I haven't seen a ring. <laughs> She'd be the first person to tell you, look at, don't bother, don't mind that, don't worry about it. We'll get that in time. Like. When Rebecca tells me something, I listen. <laughs> Another man who just can't read between the lines. I'd like my wedding day to be romantic in some sort of a way, but Graham is not romantic in any way, shape or form. I don't know, when he's a hangover and stuff like that, when he's feeling vulnerable, he'd be like, oh, I love you, and like this and like that. But other than that, no, he's not romantic. What are you making? Like, he's never surprised me with anything. It's now or never. He has to surprise her. He has to come up with a result. He has to. It's not like he can just say, oh, I'm sick of this. I'm not going to do it. I, you know, I'm done. It's always the woman doing it, and the man is taking the back seat. So mm. I think it's, it's, it's nice for the man to step in. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah, right. I'd be kind of a slow starter, I reckon. Not terribly organised, you know, I mean, he'd be a bit sloppy, a bit messy. It's just once I get something set inside my head, I get my hands around it, like, you know, I get a grip of the thing, I'll go at it then. It'll sort of fall into place. <laughs> <laughs> You're brave. <laughs> her face says it all. The biggest day of her life is in the hands of a man who hopes everything will fall into place. While Graham takes on the task of a lifetime, Rebecca will move back in with her family in Nace for the next three weeks. The next time she sees him will be on her wedding day, wearing the dress that he will be picking for her to wear. If Graham gets me a dress that comes out like a big meringue thing, the morning of the wedding is going to be trouble because I am not going to put that dress on. And that means the wedding's not going to happen. This is a test for Graham. Definitely, this is a major test for Graham. It's time for him to grow up now. I suppose all I can do is hope that he will do good. Because if he doesn't, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Oh, my God, Graeme. Are you going to miss me? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course I will. <laughs> Are you going to miss me? Of course. Leaving him is it's going to be hard going out the door. I'm not even going to start now, because I'm going to start crying. <laughs> it's going to be tough three weeks. Definitely. Sure. 
I'll get all this out of it and I'll see him at the altar. You'd be grand with you stop. <laughs> see you in three weeks, little one. You'll be all right. You'll be okay. You'll be all right. You go and mind yourself. I will. Bye. Bye-bye. I was a little choked up now, in fairness, like, you know, we man enough to say, yeah, it was. I was a little bit choked up now when she left, but, um, you know, we spend a lot of our time together, so... It's a little bit weird, but hopefully in three weeks' time it'll be job done and everyone will be happy. Hey, Mom. Oh, my God, you <laughs> One person who's certainly happy to see her is her mother. Now, some tea and sympathy. God love you, Rebecca, if you're depending on him for to get you a dress, that's all I can say. OK, just tea then. I think you're doing all right, job. He wouldn't, he's eyeball. And that's going to be your son-in-law you're speaking about there. I wish I could have known him long enough now, we'd like. Rebecca'd have to put everything together properly, whereas he wouldn't think that way. He won't do it, I'm telling you, he won't be able to do it. He'll panic, I know he'll panic. Here's the Graham getting his act together. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. So, what could be worse than a man organising your wedding? How about two men? Here comes the best man, Graeme's best buddy and future brother-in-law, Sam. I'm a serious chat now. I'll show you where you're going anyway, for the next three weeks. It's great to have Sam around. Sam's our eldest brother. We're good mates for years. We've been out and about and men about town for <laughs> many a year. He knows more dirt on me than anybody would. Where are we at? We're going getting the head. Stuck in now, getting this done, get it sorted. Mums, no beers, serious chat. Well, Rebecca's kind of quieting him down, which done no harm. He was wild enough at one stage, like he'd be fairly well renowned for his partying. Bananas and microwaves, noodles in the kettle. It's all stuff like that kind of thing. She's definitely quieting him down a good bit. Microwaved bananas and noodle tea aren't exactly standard wedding fare. But wedding dresses are a serious business, so the lads need to remember one thing. Don't mess with the dress. Dress shopping. Um... Right, so where do we start? But Graham sees Rebecca every day. Surely he's noticed what she wears. Well, Rebecca dresses Graham. He be in the shower. She be, he'd be shouting at her, get me clothes out. Yeah. yeah. Say he's going to be daunted when he walks into the wedding shop and sees all the dresses there, he'll go, oh, God, what have I let myself in for? Sounds easy. <laughs> when she's going out, she has to look right. Whereas Graham would say, that'll do, you know, come on. That'll do definitely won't do today. So if I walk into a shop and I look at something, it'll be just literally, no, 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 no. I have a picture in my head of something. It's a man's worst nightmare. They all look the same. It's like a priest's flipping thing. Bruce Lee. You could actually say no if the dress is not right. She may have to wear Graham's dress, but that doesn't mean she can't look. So today, she's off shopping for the dress she hopes he will pick for her. I'm here to look at the dress that I can't get myself. I've never tried on a wedding dress before, so I am excited about this trip. It's a similar style no, to that. It of a quality street wrapper. Uh -oh, okay. Then again, it could be a nightmare in the shop either. I don't know. <laughs> That's Graham, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If Graham got that for me, I think I'd actually probably hang him. Yes, a frustrated bride in a dress shop is a special kind of crazy. Here. No, no way. No. What is it that you're this, not about? There's too much going on here for me. And it's a bit too... It's quite revealing, yeah. yeah. Here's his lovely satin dress now. Yeah. That's strapless. I... No way. I, I think I'd like something with straps. For her to have the straps, yeah. the little bit of comfort yeah, in it. Yeah, definitely. It? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. The dress I'm looking for would be the Kate Middleton style with the, the kind of lace cover up and then it kind of comes down and then the skirt goes a little bit out, but like it's not meringue, it's just out. <laughs> okay. It does have that Kate Middleton feel to it, but it's not OTT. So what the lads need to find is a touch of Kate Middleton, but not too OTT, and definitely with straps. That's kind of nice, isn't that it? That is nice. Yeah. No, I like the colour of it. And it's strapless. That's the length of the back. It's reasonable. I like yeah. that. That is nice. That is nice. It's down to these two. Now, straps or no straps? That's the question. But where's the answer? For Rebecca, 
The search goes on. Oh my gosh. No. It's got the top and all. <laughs> oh, it's very real. The neck is you. This up here is you. Yeah. But good news. The lads are looking at a wedding dress that does have straps. They just might know what they're doing after all. This morning now he was fairly worried, but um, I think there's a big thing that will kind of calm him down a little bit. Yeah, it is lovely, but it's kind of formal. Not the word I'm looking for. Well, a wedding dress is kind of formal, isn't it? Meanwhile, Rebecca is lost in a dream. I love this. That was one for me. That's it. Feels like it. I <laughs> love it. It's gorgeous. I love this. It was emotional for me, the last dress. Like, and I always said to myself, you know, my brides always say, oh, when you try on that dress, you'll know I say, yeah, right, whatever. Like, but it's true. When you do try on that dress, you do know. Rebecca knows, which is a pity because the lads haven't got a clue. The dress with the straps is back on the rail, and this is what she could be wearing. Pretty much bang on. Bang on, really? No train, no straps, no chance. That's on the money, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I wonder what Graham do. Me justice, lads. Now for a few words of encouragement from her mother. Graham will not pick the top of the dress like that. So don't be too disappointed. I don't think he will. I'm starting to think, oh, good God, what is Graham going to get me? It is, it's a big worry to me at the moment. If she's lucky, he won't be able to afford it. I'm on a budget. Mm -hmm. What's the sort of going rate of that dress? So I can offer you this dress off the rail and we'll do the alterations to make sure it fits her for about 1300 I was kind of thinking about 1000 but I have no clue how much a dress costs. I know, I know. You know yourself. It's not like picking out tyres for a car or something like No. It really isn't. The dress is the most important thing, realistically, about it. <sighs> right, OK, yeah. 1300 is way over budget, but it's about to get even worse. There's the shoes and the veil. What are we at now? 1350, is it? No. 1250. 1450. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, she's good. Yeah, that's one thing boxed off, anyway. It's a big thing. Um, so I just have to forget about the money for the moment and shift around things and just... Take it on the chin and that's it. Graham has decided that budget or no budget, nothing is too good for Rebecca. But he's overspent and now he has some explaining to do. His parents are used to making decisions for their only child. So his dad, Barry, is in charge of the budget. It's just a case of sitting down, document the whole thing, do a plan and just carry it out, you know. Just just do it. It's, it's that simple. How are you doing? Not nice. Struggling. Struggling on. Not too bad, yeah. Got the dress anyway. I presume always in budget, yeah? Hmm. Huh? I said, hmm. <laughs> dress came in at 1300. Oh, sweet mother of divine. Who didn't surprise me as dresses? No. It's plus as well. Dress is 13. Yeah. 100 for the veil and 50 for the shoes. 1450. Done. Yep. Yeah, I know. Need a thousand in for yeah, the, I, I knew the, the bridal gown and the bridesmaids dresses. Have to be adjustments. Am I going to get any more shots? You might. I might do a runner yet. Maybe she'll forgive him for the dress if he gets the venue right. So he needs to be looking for something like this, the Mill House in County Meath. So this is our um, our river room. If it was up to me, this is what I'd love. I can't see Graeme even touching on it. I think Graeme would think that I'd like the run of the mill that every bride would want, whereas I wouldn't. This is uh, one of our bridal suites. There is three that you can choose oh, from. Wow. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it is just beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that, would you? Yeah. See you oh, back. It's beautiful. What do I have to do? Let Graeme <laughs> do this then? <laughs> This Isn't would be now gorgeous. my dream. This is just fabulous. The nightmare would be a hotel on the side of the dual carriageway. Your everyday kind of gone out for your Sunday carvery lunch kind of a place. I would hate it. Hate it. And I really, if he knows me, I hope he hasn't gone for somewhere like that. And I really hope he does know me. <laughs> Meanwhile, as Graham visits his first venue, the writing is on the wall. 
But Graham's idea of a perfect venue might be a little different. A decent hotel, really. Um, somewhere nice. The nightmare would be a hotel on the side of the Geo Carriageway. Mm -hmm. Hello, Graham. How are you doing? Welcome to the Talbot Carlo. I don't know about the venue with Graham. He wouldn't put as much thought into a venue as Rebecca would. Yeah. This is where we would host <coughs> drinks receptions on arrival, as oh, you can yeah. see. The view is quite nice, it's oh, nice, it's bright yeah. and airy, yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's lovely for people on arrival. But Rebecca has a different view of things. If, if I was doing it myself, this would be it. Like, I couldn't have came to a better place. It's beautiful. Yeah. Bridal suite here is just, a bit like waking up in heaven. Compared to a hotel, obviously you're just going to have, I'd say, a bed, a wardrobe, television. I wouldn't say there's anything amazing in a hotel bedroom compared to here. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. The yeah. colours are lovely, they really yeah, are. Gorgeous, yeah. The room is very, very special. Rebecca can be delighted with a bath. Good, good. We've only showers in our house. Oh, so. good, good. So she can relax <laughs> for the day. Now for the banqueting room. Yeah. This is the entrance on arrival. Lovely atmosphere. We've kept the colour scheme quite neutral. That's top our... table here. But it's nice to have it right in the yeah. centre of the room. That's it's your four, special yeah. day, yeah. You yeah. need to be right up at the top of the room. That's nice, yeah. Looking down on everybody. Looking down on the peasants. Oh, my God. But Rebecca thinks that this might be more pleasant for the peasants. I had a vision. And this was a vision I had. It, the place is absolutely just amazing. The, the attention to detail around the place. Oh my God. Wow. Really wow. I'm actually kind of kicking myself now that I haven't done my own wedding. Where we're standing at the moment in the dance floor, nice, big, spacious dance floor, very important for dancing. Mm -hmm. Their wedding room downstairs that they've done out for today, like for today, it's fantastic. It wasn't what I was expecting at all. So he wasn't expecting that, but Rebecca was expecting this. A little bit upset, to tell you the truth. So it's like, tease the bride. I'm not going to have this. Meanwhile, Graham is getting down to business. We do have a few packages available for you um, for your wedding day. They start from 27 euro. I'm not going to beat around the bush with you. We were looking kind of at the 49 euro okay. package, okay. right? The diamond package. What budget are you working with at the moment, Graham? I'm in around three grand, and I could probably push it to three and a half. I won't be able to include everything that is in that package um, with your budget, but we can yeah. work towards. Um, Shave it off. He'd be the type of bloke that would like to have money left over. I did that for nine, not ten. In your mind, what's important to you? Oh, it's just sliced everything. Do I really want canapes, canapes on arrival? Right. Scratch that, yeah. To... Your champagne, sorbet. Don't want that. I can't include the toast drink. Take that off. The flowers on the tables, as you saw them, are included. Knock that off. Knock it off, slash it off, scratch that. We don't want to spoil anyone, do we? It is just a wedding. While Graham tries to take some of the sparkle off the diamond package, back in Meath, Rebecca turns her attention to the civil ceremony. My dream venue would be like in a barn, country, different. Could she mean something like this? Oh, wow. This is our ceremony room. It really is just gorgeous. It really is fab. Look at the lights. I don't want the run of the mill kind of a room. I'd like it a bit of attention to detail and not having that would be a big downer for me. Graham also has a vision, just a very different one. So his first choice is the place where they had that first date. Let's hope he comes to his senses and this is just a pit stop. Thinking of Mondello Park for the ceremony. Possibly the museum, if I could swing it. So this is the Museum of Motorsport. Sport. Wow. What chance does a girl have against a room full of racing cars? I'm not even thinking about weddings at the moment, sorry. Look at how the technology's changed. I know, the difference. Dearly ever look. Oh, I think it'd be great, yeah, yeah. I mean, we clear out the cars down the centre here and have all our seating here facing up here. And yeah, I think it'd be lovely, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it looks fabulous. It's a great, great venue, great collection of cars. Well, with Graham being into his cars, for some reason I was lying in bed the other day and it just hit me that, God, imagine I was getting married in Mondello and the cold that's involved in Mondello is unbelievable. It could probably wreck her head, but sure. I'll, I'll be happy. <laughs> Start as you mean to go on. That's it, exactly. From our point of view, there are logistical issues. We'd have to arrange to move the vehicles. There's insurance issues, movement issues and all that because they're very valuable, etc. So logistically, we'd have to do a bit of work and obviously we don't have a lot of time okay. to sit down and see is it something we can do or not, you know? Right, OK. Yeah, but it looks good now. Ideally, I'd like to just forget about the wedding and have a spin in a few of these cars. Rebecca has put her faith in Graham, but now she's not so sure. I think the challenge that I've set for Graham, I don't think 
I don't think he's going to be able first. And on top of that, life without him is taking its toll. I really, 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 really miss him. Like, the... it's hard. And I just can't wait now for it all to be over and done with so I can see him. He's my best friend. He's just, he's not there. And it is hard. It's the longest I've went without talking to him. And I'm, I'm just, I'm counting down the days now. Graham has been told that Mondello can't accommodate the civil ceremony, so it's back to the drawing board. But the clock is ticking. Where is the venue? Oh, we don't know yet. Crap. The last thing I want to be doing is coming home and organising a wedding. Such is life, I have to get it done. Try and organise a wedding on your own in three weeks. It's pressure, like, you know. With his perfect location at Mondello now gone, Graham is now looking at a venue closer to home, Tulfaris Golf Resort. First things first, check out the bridal suite. It's lovely, she'd love it. Absolutely, she would love this, yeah. yeah. This is this would be her thing now, definitely. Now, the banqueting room. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I love those two thrones as well. Move over, Posh and Bex. Bex and Graham are here, but will the room with the thrones cost a king's ransom? Be looking around 80 people, and I'm sort of have a budget of about 3,250. 3,250 for Tull Farris. Time to see whether his first venue, the Talbot Hotel in Carlo, can beat that. So for 80 people, um, we could do the diamond package for 3,350 euros. 3,350. Just received a call from the Talbot there. It's pretty much matching the figure as here. In my heart and soul, I know if Rebecca was with me here, she'd be kicking me in the behind to pick this place. The venue is booked. Now Graham wants to add a touch of magic, so he has made that brave decision that can make or break a wedding. He's decided on a theme. I'd like to get um, the Wizard of Oz kind of theme involved in somehow. So off to see his friend Kira, the florist, for some much needed advice. Right, so you're talking about a Wizard of Oz theme? Yeah. OK, hit me with the ideas. No, I'm not going for flipping tin men and stuff, people dressed up or anything like that. Just actual team in a venue of a few bits and pieces, you know, and have a bit of signage as well, you know, follow the yellow brick road and that kind of stuff. Basically, I want to light the place up in green, right? Emerald okay. City kind of a thing. Any ideas for yellow brick road? I can cover a carpet with, you know, yellow stuff. Graham's vision has yellow stuff in it. Let's hope Kira is a whiz at this sort of thing. A kind of a really clear image Good. of the Emerald City, <laughs> yeah. you know. But will Rebecca be impressed when she goes over the rainbow? Or will she just end up thinking there's no place like home? Graham even has his own little Toto. Actually, her real name is Suki, and she's to have a special role in this wedding. But yeah, the whole idea of um, doing this is kind of to have her as a ring bearer. For okay. the ceremony. At least one girl will be wearing straps on the day. The more she has to look at you, because she doesn't muscle. know what way you're going. Muscle. Come on. See the way your hand is very high? Yeah. That's all bringing tension down to her. She's only just gone one, so can you imagine trying to train a one year old child to walk and change direction? Ah, ah, ah. Don't just lose faith, be confident Come that on. you're gonna. Mom. This is the most bizarre thing I've ever done uh, with a dog. I'm just worried about wedding dresses, paw prints. Bride on her back, flowers everywhere. I don't know. I'm hoping she she'll be all right. Obedience classes may have worked on Suki, but the bridesmaids might prove to be a bit more of a challenge when they eventually turn up. My bridesmaids, Neve is. Neve will always get what she wants. The bridesmaid dresses, we might come to blows. And my cousin Linda, it would be the exact same. She will turn around and take the head off him. If I'm going shopping with the two girls for the bridesmaid's dresses, the book stops basically with me. That's what they all say. But as if it wasn't complicated enough already. Neve was a, an ex-girlfriend of his, so I'd say uh, he'll have no problem telling Neve how much she can spend on her dress. <laughs> OK, love. Just pull it out, gives a look. He'd probably like myself, he wouldn't know all that about it, you know. Plus, he'd have to learn. Did we see a price tag on it yet? It's 300 to reduce down to 215. The cheapest dress he can buy in a bridesmaid dress he'll buy. Put that back now, yeah. <laughs> Carry on. 
No. 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 Blue. So do some 250 to 70. That's not bad. It's very good. So if you do the match really quick now, you'll figure out what you've got to play with. Right, OK. <laughs> Graham will say, these are only wearing these for one day, and he will be stingy. How much? 160. Can we try the fabulous dress? I'll let you try it on, yeah. They're trying them on, he's trying it on. So can they reach a compromise? Me personally, yeah. I think it's crazy. I'd spend it on a thousand and one other things, but um, I have to have her looking well in the day. I'd be killed. Ready? Oh, here's a look. That's nice. What do you think? Yeah, I like them. That's option one. Option two. No, I'm not mad on that one. There's a third one to try though. Come on then, we'll have a look at it anyway and we'll see. But when the girls fall for the most expensive one, it's time for the hard sell. We love it. Why is it always the expensive ones? I know, They're fabulous. I know. We did get around them. With a few smiles and a few. Rebecca would love this. Oh, don't pull that one on me now. <laughs> Rebecca love it. He usually backs down from it, yeah. But the battle isn't over till the till bell rings. Already juiced quite a bit, so I couldn't do more. But it is a really special piece. Mm. So basically, two fifteen is what it says. Two fifteen is the best I right, can do. Right. Okay. No budget on price. Well, here's a thought. You know, I'm doing the makeup on the day. Mm -hmm. So what about whatever the difference is in the dress? How about we whack that off the makeup? A little bit of a business transaction went on just there. You get two dresses over. Put it that way. I'm uh, thrilled with that dress. It's gorgeous. So you're working for free. Pretty much a makeup thing that doesn't bother me. I mean, I was going to do it as a present for Rebecca anyway, so just don't talk right. Right then, enough of all this girly stuff. Time for the boys to have their toys. Oh, so it's fast. They like it. Graham wouldn't be a romantic unless it involves a car. And we'll be outdoor activity. And if they get dirty and mucky, it's fantastic, it's a bonus. Might give them a cocktail sauce or something, a few chips then later on. <laughs> now Graham's put together a bit of romance and pampering for the girls. Run! Give it a welly! Go back Right, right. 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 Only boys will organise outdoor activities in the middle of January when it snows. So no, this is not what we would have done um, for our wedding at this time of the year. I love things being different. I love adventure. I'm starting to think maybe maybe he does know me. <laughs> it's a bit like Mary and uh, Graham. It's you're kind of on a cliffhanger, aren't you? You don't know what you're going to get. Like <laughs> it's, it's a sign of a good night when you're swinging out the rafters. <laughs> I'm ready for the drink now. He has said he doesn't want a boozy um, a hen party. He wants them to behave themselves and be home early. <laughs> oh, they're behaving. They're just behaving badly. It's a great for making it a savage day anyway. I think he did a great job. Great. Next morning, as Rebecca takes an early walk to clear her head, she has no idea that as she heads down to the woods, Graham has planned a few big surprises. Oh my God! Welcome, you're getting something else. Oh, yeah. Fakers. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. Go to your favourite tree and see what you might see. That's the fairy tree. The fairy tree is a very special place for Rebecca, a place where wishes really do come true. Is there another clue or something? That's for me, is it? It must be cat kitchen, is it? <laughs> cat kitchen by the neck. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 
somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. You were cordially invited to our wedding on the Thursday, the 24th of January, 2013. Missing you loads, I can't wait to see you soon. Hamster features. <laughs> now for something that's long overdue. I suppose he still has some sort of romantic left in him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really wasn't it expecting this over. anyway, it's just super great. Surprise, surprise. Oh, it's gorgeous. I thought I'd be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this. I didn't expect this at all at all. And it's gorgeous. And now I feel like I'm getting married. <laughs> it feels great. I'm shaking, I can't stop shaking. I have to let him go at some stage and I'm happy to let him go at this stage. Uh, he's married a lovely girl and I hope they'll be very happy to get the two of them. When my mum had cancer, um, she was getting results after she had operation and that. And I came here and left a, a letter on the tree for the fairies. And uh, she got great results, so that's what it means to me. It's actually a bit like my mum's engagement ring, believe it or not. It's gorgeous, he's done a great job. Fair play to him. Huh. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Best of luck now, Rebecca. And one thing's for sure. It's not what she imagined. Like I said to my mum, will you cry now when you see me in my wedding dress? And she says, no, I won't cry if, when I see you in the wedding dress. So I'll cry if it's ugly. Fingers crossed. OK, Rebecca, I'm going to lead you out to the mirror. Now, if you want to just turn around here and then just take a step up on the box. Mum's crying. Not a good sign. OK, now, you're right. <laughs> step back a little. OK, Rebecca, I'm going to unblindfold you now. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> God it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful, isn't it? Oh, my God. I'm like a little princess, <laughs> isn't it? He done a really good job. <laughs> I can't believe he did it either. It really is nice. I can't believe he picked that. Oh, my God. It's stunning. Do you like yeah. this? Oh, it's so oh my God. But Rebecca, I'm shocked, so shocked. I didn't think he'd go. So <laughs> There's oh. another side to him after all. I may hide now after saying he wouldn't do it. But I never, ever thought that he could pick a dress. That's the truth. Well, he knows you're better than me do. <laughs> I still feel a bit naked without having anything up here. That's, That's sitting on you absolutely perfectly. It's fabulous. He's done I love it. Really. I think it is beautiful. I'm actually quite overwhelmed by it. She just looks like an angel. Did you get a veil? Did I get a veil? Hi, ah, yes, you got a veil. Yeah! And when I started this, I was like, oh, I'd love the Kate Middleton look. I might look like Kate Middleton, but I feel like Kate Middleton. <laughs> Obviously, he knows me better than I know myself. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Tomorrow just cannot come quick enough. I can't wait to get to the top of the altar and just wear the face off him. <laughs> right now, Graham has no time for smooching. He's off to turn Tulfaris into the Emerald City for his Wizard of Oz theme. I have a million other things to do, so I'm trusting you with this job. You're brave. All right, so <laughs> keep it nice and flat against the chair like that, and then just tie it just like you tie your shoelaces, Graham. We're not going to make it too fancy a bow for you. Rebecca ties my laces right. for me. Does she? Yeah. We believe him. The ribbon is tying Graham in knots. Kira! <laughs> That's shit, though, isn't it? It's not too bad if it's what? No, it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. He can't even tie a bow. Oh, dear. Seriously, I, we have a long night ahead of us. Surely there's other ways for him to shine. I'll be here all night, I'd say. That's it. I want to hear it squeak. Yes, he is going to be here for the stretch. We still have a lot of things to do to pull the whole thing together. To keep him out of the way, some colours and a board to play with. Definitely going to turn to Arik after this. <laughs> but it's not as easy as it looks. Imagine me doing Haunted Forest on that. How am I going to get Haunted Forest into this? If only they were all this simple. That's my best yet. 
That's like my masterpiece. All too soon, playtime is over. Have you made a mistake already? I think the whole lot of it's a mistake, really. It's not, it's beautiful, Graham. It's beautiful. Have some faith in yourself, man. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, man. If she's not happy with this now, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll be taking that engagement ring back off her. <laughs> It's her wedding day, and as morning breaks in over the family home, the most glamorous day of Rebecca's life begins in curlers. How are you feeling? All right. I thought I'd be nervous. I think when I put the dress on, I will be. Not worry. So I just want to get there. I just want to see Graham. No, it's very real now, you know. I think he's only realising now that this is. For real, it's not just something that's happening, you know? I think my dad is getting nervous now. Everything and anything's going to come out of his mouth now for the day with nerves. This is what Graham is going to look like in about 50 years' time. <laughs> She's been so happy with the dress and the ring. There has to be a letdown somewhere for her. Back with the groom, Barry's in charge of the schedule, and he does like a good schedule. We're leaving here on the dock of 11, arriving till far as at 12. At 2 o'clock then, civil ceremony starts. Kind of have to be there for that. If you were in her shoes of she was planning it all, how do you think you'd be? I'd be grand, to be honest. Just tell me what to do. I'll appear. I, would, I, think, I think I'd be much better off that way. I'd just carry on as normal. OK, guys, come on. Keep the plan. It's 10.51 now. We're going to leave it here in nine minutes. But while the family are in sparkling form, Rebecca is starting to worry. I'm really worried now. I'm wondering where the dress is. I'm panicking now, yeah. The bride may have nothing to wear, but her baby is looking pretty in pink. Yeah, they are. Trust me. She could be a handful now, this all. Yeah, all right, darling. Don't you, little pup? Right, let's go. But as the groom races off, the bride is finally put out of her misery. Graham checks in on the venue, while Rebecca, now running late, tries to get things moving her end. Ladies, be gone, or else we're just going to be way behind. Come on, be gone. Hurry up. First the bridesmaids, and then the other man in her life. Oh my God, Dad, you look fabulous. Oh. Now I'm going to start crying. You look great. The two of you look great. Rebecca, I don't know about your nerves. I'm, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Jesus, I'm getting married. And now a special parade from Graham's mates at the Souped Up Subaru Club. Oh my God! Wow, they are absolutely fantastic. Oh my God. Turn around, turn around. I didn't have that in my head at all. I, they are so unusual, they're fantastic. I... Yay! Right, you are dressed, I'm going to make a zip line. Your and turn, your turn. Down. See ya. Eventually, the boys remember that today is not all about the cars. Right, Graham, I feel like you're out here, I'm hanging your shirts up. The star of the show is ready to make an entrance. Well, are you tearing your eye? No idea. You actually do too. <laughs> you think, isn't it just beautiful? Stunning. You know, that? You look absolutely you like it. Any better? No, the nerves are actually starting to kick in now. Next thing I'm worried about now is what's going to pull up outside the door out there. Now for a drive-by tooting. <laughs> For the bride. No fucking way! Oh my god! Oh, I'm not getting in that! Oh my god! Is that for me? Jesus! Oh my god! He's dead! He's dead! Oh my god! And for everyone else. It was a big uh, logistical nightmare. 10 or 11 cars, a truck, a classic Jag. 
Oh, they're all running. Touch wood. Where's a good mechanic when you need one? Oh, yes, he's taking the day off to get married. Oh, lads. Is the ignition on? As Dad attempts a reboot, Graham is in need of a little refueling. I'm feeling freaked out. Um, just want to. I want to get going. I need, I need a jar. I'm not going to lie to you. I need a stiff vodka. Right, get a jar? Yeah. Meanwhile, the bride is still having a breakdown. Try it now. Oh my God, talk about your nerves being gone. Please come on. The groom is a nervous wreck. I'm a stress ball at the moment, so I'll be all right. I'll be grand in a minute. Red Bull and the vodka start flowing through my veins now in a couple of minutes and I'll settle down then. The jag has reached the end of the road. The bridal party are stranded, giving Graham time for another little livener. I'd say they're into blessing at this yeah. stage, yeah. Time? Just gone too. Actually, they're still nowhere near, but Neve has remembered all those fast cars that drove by the house earlier. Graham, on the other hand, is just fine. You just chill out. Oh, my God. Now it's an emergency, and the wedding 911 springs into action. Rebecca is finally on her way. Are we late? Are we all right? Is she late? Graham has no idea. How are we fixed on time? Anyone know or anything? I'm starting to break it now. It's not on my legs, I'm all shaking. <laughs> oh. the schedule's gone through the roof. Finally, the bridal truck crosses the threshold. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill her. Yes, he's had such a tough morning. Uh-oh, oh, yeah. here we go. The first steps to the rest of her life are down a makeshift wooden stairs. That was nice. <laughs> Very crack. How are you? How are you? Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Come on in there and get out of the cold. How are you? Come on, let's get this done with. <laughs> And after a traumatic morning, here comes the bride. to welcome each and every one of you here today to join with Graham and Rebecca in the solemnization of your marriage. Graham, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? I will. Will you love her and comfort her in sickness and in health? <laughs> I always do. <laughs> <laughs> and Rebecca, will you love him and comfort him in sickness and in health? I will. Okay, we've come to the exchange of rings part of the ceremony and I'm going to ask Graham to get oh, those for me. Hang on, bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not a disaster. They're just having a little pause in the proceedings. Oh, oh my gosh. I found them. Rebecca, I give you this ring. Graham, I give you this ring. As a token that I will love and honour you. As a token that I will love and honour you. I can now pronounce your husband in love. Yeah. 
Hi. Happy with everything? Hi. Time for Rebecca to see her Emerald City. I don't know. Yeah. We stroll by oh my the river. Oh, Graham. Look what you've done. I've never had the glow I feel tonight. Oh, my God. Yeah. What do you think? You've done all this for me. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks. How about it, man? All this shows to me how much I mean to Graham. It does, like, he's blown me away. Big time. I've searched for the one who loves It is fantastic. Graeme, you got my panda bears. I showed you this picture when we first got engaged. I know that. And you got them. You re even remembered. Of course I remembered. He's going to be a great husband. I think he is. I hope he is. I know he is. As the Emerald City opens its gates, even his new mother-in-law is impressed. It really does know her, like, when you see this. Done a brilliant job. I can't believe it. So happy with him. Maybe that's why I'm so relaxed now. Graham and Rebecca. I think it was the only one that had faith in him. Because everyone else was like, oh, no, he'll forget this, he'll forget that. And I kept telling everyone, no. Yeah, he loves Rebecca. Graham, I just want to say to you, the last three weeks have been emotional. To say the least. Yeah. I just want to thank you for the effort you put in. It means an awful lot to me, and I hope you're all You're welcome. I'm actually surprised. I think he's outdone himself. Oh, I think he did great. He did great. I think Graham has stepped up to the mark, and I think he has stepped up more than any of us gave him credit for. He's pulled it off, I think. Yeah, definitely. And growing up at the same time. Thanks, Rebecca, for turning up. Eventually. <laughs> She's so happy that he's done what he did. I'm thinking I was so sick, and Rebecca was looking after me in this hospital, thinking that's the end. And there she is. For Graeme, he's done absolutely marvellous. I can't believe it. I wouldn't wish anybody else on my sister. You are well and truly deserve each other. <laughs> Rebecca put Graham to the test. Three weeks, ten grand, the wedding of her lifetime. Graham has taken up the talent of man enough. I mean, come on, if you're able to organise a wedding, you're able to organise your life. And she said he wasn't the romantic type. I do have to retract what I said at the start. He is romantic. Humble pie? No, I did never eat a humble pie. <laughs> no, <laughs> of it. It. no, he is romantic and he has surprised me. But he has to keep it up. I'll just be me after this. I just, Rebecca loves me, she married me for me, and no flipping anything else will change that. She'll get some land, won't she? After this. <laughs> Back to square one. <laughs> and you can quote me on that. Yep, the secret's out, you big softy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Big face. How's your features? <laughs>